So we are straight up, we're on time, so let's go into the presentation. Uh, Doug and I put this together, and I think it, it'll it be very useful to you. So as you can see, there's the triangle that we've, we've maintained for all these different years. I, I got the first triangle from Dr. Goodhart, which was the three areas, structural, nutritional, and emotional. And then we found there were six pieces of the puzzle, because if you have allergies and sensitivities, you have toxic accumulation, you have a severe chemical toxicities like leads, metals, that type of thing, it, it just adds on to everything you have going on. So we have the six different interferences and nothing could be more important in the discussion of adrenal than the fact there's more than one stressor. It's not just driving to work, it's not just dealing with your children, it's not just dealing with insurance companies, it's what you're eating, it's the phone calls you're receiving, the texting, the emails, sitting in front of a computer. We are being bombarded by everywhere in the world. So but Doug has come up with the optimal health system line, which as you can see the, the outline there, he has digestive, pre-digestive materials, vitamin and mineral complexes, essential fatty acids, the fruit and veggie mix, which is, man, everybody has tried that. My wife and kids, uh, that'll be a whole meal for them. I actually took that to the ASEA company and uh, let the, the owners, this, this I think is a $65 million company, and they're very impressed with, with that type and maybe even have... Uh, Doug and I formulated product for them that they can use along with their ASEA product, which is incredible about signal reduction molecules or redox signaling molecules. And, and the fruit and veggie, if you haven't tried it, do yourself a favor. And Complete Nutrition Plus. There's just all kinds of nutritional products that Doug already has online, and we're going to add to that. We'll tell you a little bit more what's on the store here as we go along. But he puts right here, we have over 30 high-potency formulas used by thousands of doctors already. And Doug has been in the professional athletic world for a long time. He was a power lifter and holds some, some records in that as well. And um, the pictures of his sons both uh, that are competitive right now in different sports and doing very well there. <clears throat> well, the adrenals, let's just do a brief overview. We remember adrenals, uh, the... Adrenals are above the kidney. Kidney is renal and adrenal. There they are right on top of it. And basically they're very, very important small organs. And they have both the cortex and, and they have the medulla. And both parts are very important into balancing hormones in the body. And if you overstress the adrenals, you overproduce adrenaline or epinephrine. You overproduce cortisol. And this causes all kinds of stress on the body. Now, you need stress on the body. If you haven't been following the puzzle pieces, please repent. Or if you're not getting them, call Jason, 866-338-4883, or go to brimhall.com and opt on. I did a whole article on the adrenals and what they do and the medulla, and, and we broke out the medulla and the cortex and talked about optadrenal much more than we're going to have time to do today. And the two weeks before that, we talked about these redox signaling molecules which increases oxygen to the cells. The most important thing we do every day is take in oxygen, utilize oxygen, and then neutralize that effect. And the second most important thing we do is methylation. So with the products we're using now, we increase oxygenation of the tissues, we increase methylation, and now we even have organic methylation taking place before you ever put that nutrient in your mouth with the Opti Health system. It's just, it's just amazing. That's all I can tell you. Uh, the adrenal glands are subject to stress of all kinds. So that's why the six interferences I mentioned right to begin with, whether it's nutritional or emotional or chemical or electromagnetic, etc., etc., that's bombarding these adrenal glands. There's three stages of adrenal stress. First is the alarm, second is the resistance stage, and third is the complete exhaustion stage. And most of the patients we see anymore are in that exhaustive phase. And here's what you have to understand. When the body first recognizes there's a stress, let's say driving on the freeway every day, then you get there and you're behind the patient already, you got there late, there's a phone call waiting, you have text messages there, your secretary says you're three patients behind and your wife and, and all, your, all your payments are overdue. That puts you in alarm right there. So the adrenals go into stress, they start overproducing and your body becomes alarmed. After that happens so long, then you actually go into the resistance phase because it's past alarm, you're starting to get more degeneration, more malfunction, and finally you go into exhaustion. Now here's the key. In all my years of practice, all 44 years, and I got involved in nutrition just like pretty much the second year of nutrition there, so I went back and finished a bachelor's degree after I got out of chiropractic school to understand it more. 
I have noticed and found out that the adrenals are one of the first things I check. In the six steps to wellness, one of the key things we check first are the adrenals under stress and we repair them. You're going to find at least 80 to 90% of your patients of all ages need adrenal support. Now here's the key. Some of the glandulars out there, if you're into the glandular realm, puts only raw adrenal. Well, raw adrenal helps balance the adrenals, but when you're under stress, it affects the stomach. Hans Selye found that rats started getting ulcerations within 30 seconds after stress. The immune system, therefore, is compromised. Um, they don't secrete proper hydrochloric acid for digestion anymore. The immune system becomes under attack. The thymus and the spleen start to shrink up. And so you have all these alarm, resistance, and exhaustive phases going on simultaneously in one person sometimes, and then very much so in a family. So if you give them only raw glands and they're in the alarm state, you'll actually make them worse because it increases cortisol protection. It increases adrenaline output. However, in the opti adrenal or the other products I've made before this, we have a balance of parotid. There's 80 milligrams of parotid in this as well as 25 milligrams of, <clears throat> of adrenal, but we also have stomach substance, etc., etc., et cetera, which we'll go over which takes you in any one of these three phases and puts you back towards normalcy. So you almost couldn't take too much of this product, but you don't have to take as much because the body gets so much better results because of the digestive phase. As I mentioned, even if your digestion is almost perfect, the maximum digestion they, they feel that we get is about 20%. So in the OHS products, they have been pre-digested. Doug will talk a little bit about how hard it was to break pre-digest glandulars. He'd never done that before. And the product especially, he'll tell you they're layered like, like almost like a, a ball that has layers, like layers of tape all the way around it going in different directions. So to break that down for your body is almost impossible to get maximum usage. But where we've broken it down already for you in the organic soup and in the enzymes and pre-methylated it, you're getting up to 300% more use out of every nutrient you take. It, it's just, uh, and the results, it, it's coming, if you've been using it, have noticed that in the products you've already been using. So here's what happens. Any kind of a stress, structural, chemical, emotional, toxic, allergies, you name it, cortisol increases. Therefore, it lowers your DHEA. Well, there comes inflammation, rapid aging, and emotional stress takes place there. Breakdown of, of the collagen fibers takes place. Glucose is not utilized properly, but it will make you crave sweets more. So here you go into diabetes, hypoglycemia, dysinsulinemia, which is a combination of the two, and on into syndrome X. You start getting the central obesity and all the things that go along with diabetes that, that are very, very terminal if you don't arrest that. Therefore, you're eating wrong because you're craving the sweets, causes more malnutrition, more deficiencies. Then collagen cannot be repaired as fast anymore. So now you're breaking down your joints. Athletes are in trouble. Uh, those of us just try to exercise daily, our joints start to hurt. And we do the adrenal stretch we'll talk about in a minute to check to see if they have that. So your protein is breaking down. Your immune system is going to pot. Antigen penetration comes up because you're getting leaky gut now. You're leaking whole chunks of proteins into the body, becoming autoimmune disease. You get allergies. IgA starts circulating the body. That's a vicious cycle. Well, if you could do one thing to reverse all those arrows, because all those are dysfunction, if you could improve function, what would you do? You would support at every level this, gas, this general adaptation syndrome. Let's take a look at how we would do that. Any stress disrupts the body. Psychological stress from adrenal fatigue and the other things that go along with it are anxiety, insomnia, depression, anger outbursts, ADD, hyperactivity, agitation, for just a few, many, many more. The adrenaline overactivity can cause headaches, irritable bowel, colitis, blood pressure problems, muscle spasms, panic attacks, eczema, ulcers. And the physical signs are like fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, infections, allergies, autoimmune disease, and other degenerative conditions. Wow, this is a pretty big deal. It is a very big deal. So what we want to look at here, every one of us is in one of those stages of adrenal alarm or upregulation or 
degeneration right now. There's just no way to live in this life and not have that happening. Even babies are stressed out in the mother's womb. They're now knowing that the mothers are downloading their toxins. As much as 287 toxins have been found in the umbilical cord of mothers. So the babies are being born with adrenal problems. So one of the doctors said, well, what happens when somebody's already on cortisol or cortisone and they're actually into adrenal burnout? Okay, is it okay to use Optimum Adrenal? Well, the answer is absolutely. I mean, I, there's no doubt about it. And that's why I brought up the fact no matter which stage you're in, Opti Adrenal is the right one because it has the whole conglomerate of synergism to bring the body back to balance. So how would I do that? If somebody was on cortisone, um, and I, you have to be careful because that's a drug, but let's say they're on the natural hydrocort. This is not a, not a drug. It's a homeopathic, and I think it's been taken off the market now because they had cortisol in it. But let's say what we would do. I would never want them to be jerked off cortisol immediately, but I would start to cut down just like the normal dosage for optoadrenal is going to be like one, three times a day. Now, remember, instead of getting 20% maximum digestion of these glandules, we're now getting 100%. So you may not need that much. You may be one twice a day. And if I was going to cut out uh, one, it would be in the evening because you're going to get more energy from the adrenals working better, start to metabolize your, your carbohydrates, your fats, your proteins better. So if I was going to drop off and do two a day, I'd do one early and, and maybe one at lunch or mid-afternoon. Because you remember the, your, your cortisol should raise in the nighttime and should come out high. But when you're looking at people now, a lot of people are reversed. Very few people have proper cortisol levels. In fact, Jay Mead, is, is the, in his laboratory, Labrex, he doesn't find anybody has optimal cortisol anymore unless they're old and retired. And they actually regenerate when they're just sitting around and relaxing, which I thought was pretty interesting. Even young kids, he finds compromise. So if we put them on the optoadrenal like morning and noon and then evening if need, that's going to be amazing. And you're going to be able to start backing off the hydrocort or even people that are on cortisone will probably want to back off or have the physician help them back off because they will start to normalize their normal glandular function. We'll show you how we could measure that here in a minute. Where do the glandulars come from? All grass-fed, antibiotic-free bovine. The enzymes that are used are very, very uh, clean and pure products. Uh, they are pristine conditions the animals are fed on and that they, they are broken down in. Another question I got just a few minutes ago is is this product safe for nursing mothers? <clears throat> All companies, I don't care who they are, are going to tell you to discontinue a nutrient during pregnancy just to save any lawsuits. But I'm going to tell you my personal experience. I, I have nine children. I have my wife, uh, both wives, uh, Claudette that I lost seven years ago to cancer from uh, radiation, uh, all during the children, the seven children, we had her on adrenal support and we didn't have anything near this good to no problems, whatever. In fact, I put her on complete nutritional support during all of her entire pregnancy. She was the tenth child born to her family, so her glands were naturally weak and the glands really helped to repair and to rebuild her. Now, the twins were born four years ago and uh, the first OB that we saw told Brandy not to take any nutrition unless she gave it to her and she just wanted her to have prenatal from the drugstore. And I, of course, I threw a fit. We're talking to a medical doctor here that's 150 pounds overweight, had her gallbladder removed already, 30 years younger than I am, and I guarantee you we can run circles around her. And she had a twins born to her, and their medical bill was $200,000 before they got them out of the hospital. Well, of course, we had Brandy on adrenal support and nutritional support and essential fatty acids and, and greens and, and all the natural foods like that, and we were out of the hospital in two days. And that's the difference. But I cannot, I would not tell you to make that decision from my recommendations. You have to understand yourself. But the question is, why would whole foods, organic whole foods, be bad for you? And the nice thing about Opta Nutrients is that they're all <coughs> organic whole food, pre-digested nutrients. So I would feel safe about it. You have to make that decision yourself. This is what the label looks like right now. We're not going to agonize over it. Uh, Doug's going to go over part of that, and I'm going to go over part of that here in a minute. But that's what it looks like, uh, pointing out there that I have formulated, he, he and I have worked together to give you the best of the best worlds. These are the nutrients in there, and we have them a little easier to see right here. One thing I should 
back up and show you. It says right here, the vitamin C, riboflavin, niacin, etc., are from whole food cultured media. Mm -hmm. So when we go where it's a little bit easier to read, we don't put that behind there. But these are the raw milligrams that are in there, 175 of milligrams of vitamin C. Now what? It's 100% usable. It's pre-digested. It's organic. It's not one unit of vitamin C. It's 175 grams of all usable, not 20%, not 10%. But then it has the B vitamins in it. They're all necessary, the panathenic acid. These all have to do with repair, and rebuild, and proper function of the adrenal glands. Magnesium is necessary for all the relaxing aspects and the balance between calcium and magnesium has everything to do with the body health and cell firing, etc. Magnesium is necessary for 80% of the 5,300 enzyme systems in the body to work optimally. So we have organic, pre-digested magnesium ready to go to work for you. Zinc, again, it's all usable. It's all organic. Zinc is in for insulin. Zinc is necessary for hydrochloric acid. Zinc is necessary for wound healing. Zinc is necessary for emotional balancing. 75% of the prostate or of the zinc in a male is in the prostate. So it's very important that we have this during the healing process and support of this general adaptation syndrome. Chromium for blood sugar. Potassium, again, because potassium under stress, your adrenals get under stress, you lose potassium from the body. Your sodium and potassium get out of sync. The bioflavonoids, tyrosine is known for, for adrenal functioning. And here's the key that, that might be strange that you're not used to looking at glandulars. We have 80 milligrams of parotid, 70 milligrams of, of thymus, again, all pre-digested, 100% usable for the first time, the only time in history this has ever happened. And we have down here, adrenal is only 25 milligrams. Why in the world would I formulate a product that has more parotid than thymus than adrenal? so you can treat all three levels of adrenal fatigue and exhaustion. If you have 75 milligrams of adrenal, you're going to drive those adrenals, and it does not need to happen. It just needs to have the nutritional support. The reason I put so much parotid in there is because parotid, when you take something in your mouth, the parotid glands secrete those enzymes, and they pick up the information from the food you put in your mouth. If it's toxic, it sends a signal to the body to get rid of it as fast as it can. If you have heavy metals in there, the parotid tries to pull it out. The parotid and the thymus together work incredibly well with the immune system. The parotid is the first part of that immune system, your, your mouth to your anus system, that protects you and heals and repairs and monitors what goes in the mouth. And since the thymus degenerates, Hans Seye did in his study, he just stressed mice out for you know, a few seconds to a few minutes, and he would sacrifice them. And the, the mice that he had stressed out, the thymus was shrinking up. The immune system was completely going apart. The spleen also is in that same area. We have two milligrams of spleen. It helps keep the blood purified, keeps the immune system up while the parotid is detoxifying you, while the adrenal gland is healing and repairing. And, of course, Corel is a major detoxifier in the body. Since the one of the major six interferences in the body is detoxification, we, in, in, in toxins that we're pulling out through detoxification, Corella is right in this product to help that happen. Now, rhodiola, we're going to go over a little bit more on the next slide and can kind of elaborate on one product. We don't have time to go on all of them. But, of course, the grapeseed extract, the pycnogenols, the OPCs are very important. So let's just look at rhodiola here. It's an herb. So we have an herb in with vitamins and minerals and fruits and vegetables and, and all in the whole H products. We have a whole combination of things. So this herb grows in very cold regions, which means it has to fight for survival. And that's what gives you the best nutrition, is that the plants that have to fight for survival, and they build up their own natural immunity that we can pass on to the body. So it, it helps you in anti-fatigue, it helps to rebuild the adrenals, increases mental performance, and the, the ability to concentrate, as well as helps to reverse fatigue. It's been categorized, whoops, jumped too far, categorized as an adaptogen. What does an adaptogen mean? Well, like a red laser is an adaptogen. When you shine red laser, 632 to 635 nanometers on the area, if it's hyper, it takes it back towards normal. If it's hypo, it takes it up to normal. And that's what rhodiola does. It is an adaptogen, so if the adrenal is under stress and it's hyper, it brings it back towards normal. If it's already gone to the point of exhaustion, it can't even keep up, it helps to repair it. Now, it's important that you understand 
the reason we have made these synergistic blends is because you have a whole team working together. I mean, if you have a wonderful quarterback but no receivers, what good is it? If you don't have the lineman there to block the quarterback while he's getting his job done, you're not going to win very many games. So what we have as an entire area of all the nutritional support that not only the adrenals need, but all the general adaptation needs from the stressors that we're being applied to us on a day-to-day -day basis. <clears throat> The whole culture, uh, food culture media, I'm going to turn this over to Doug. This is his specialty. Talk to us, Doug. All right. Well, hey, thanks. That's some great information so far. I just want to quickly go over what we spent a lot of time in the you know, seminar doing, and it's also in our weekly edge emails. But the, one of the major benefits of the formula that uh, Dr. John had already created was the fact that we can take those vitamins that are needed in the specific amounts and methylate them, basically uh, organically bind them so that they are more usable to the system. And that's done through a special fermentation process. Which is, uh, it's one that's used with yogurts, it's used with uh, breads and, and rising and in uh, the process of organic chemistry quite often. But what we do is we take very specific nutrients, uh, ones that contain uh, specific phytonutrients in them, uh, some that have specific vitamin levels. We mix those with enzymes, very specific blends of Aspergillus oryzae enzymes in certain amounts with the proteases and peptidases and so on. And then also bind those together with stabilized probiotics. Within that, we create, as Dr. John calls it, the organic soup. But it's a it's a a, a vat of um, cultured uh, fermenting that will take those nutrients and methylate them. And actually the methylation process is very simple because nature does it. We're the ones that screw it up and use synthetic vitamins and the processed foods and such. But what happens is you take uh, the chemistry uh, term is CH3. You take three hydrogens bound to one carbon and that methyl group is added to the structure creating the methylated highly absorbable vitamins and so that's what the whole food culture media is is the blend that's used to ensure that all of the vitamins are whole food based that they have the rest of the team surrounding them if you would that Dr. John talked about it's not just about having all of the different vitamins and amino acids and nutrients available it's about within each one having all of the padding they need. It's like a person being out there and not having all of its padding and trying to play the game of football. We have to make sure that all of the nutrients are there so that it's organic based and not just a chemical structure like we find with drugs that have many side effects. Um, that's what happens nowadays with a lot of these synthetic vitamins. It's creating the same type of chemical side effect reactions and so the whole food culture media solves that problem and it's what really takes these formulas uh, to a new level and especially with the opti adrenal formula. Doug, can I ask you a question here? Does any other company have this process but you? No, no one has this process. We developed this process along with some of the greatest minds ever in the industry, working with Dr. Harvey Ashmead over 20 years ago, some of the greats, um, Richard Passwater, uh, Ken Shahani, and uh, it's actually been one that's being, been developed ever since uh, me and Dr. John uh, first uh, got into the business and was talking about this well over two decades ago. And uh, so we're the only ones that can take and, and make high potency whole food vitamins but ensure that they are whole food based and methylated. And that's kind of the exciting concept here that we're talking about from the whole food culture media side of it. And then there's one more factor on the next slide also. <clears throat> Did you say you want to go to a new slide? Yeah, let's go to that slide there. And then what we do is we'll take the, the other part of it is that we have the whole food culture media, but then we also have the pre-digestion, which is a different complex. And that's really what's taken so long uh, since we've talked about this formula to really have it come about is we weren't sure how much work it was going to take to pre-digest glandulars. And uh, it was a whole new world, but it was an exciting one and we wanted to make sure that it was done properly. But we take the glandulars and the amounts that Dr. 
uh, Brimhall has wanted and then pre-digest them down with very special forms of proteases and peptidases and uh, had actually work on some um, special forms of enzymes uh, to, to get this done versus any other that we've used before uh, to be able to get the glandulars broken down and use um, some other types of peptidases to be able to make it happen. But what's happening is, is we're able to break those glandulars down and deliver them in a matrix so that they're absorbed at the cellular level versus have forcing the body to have to digest and break them down, taking energy away from the body and possibly not even getting the benefit. We know maximum benefit on regular foods is 20%. And so who knows what it was on the glandulars, but we now know that we're able to get up to 100% absorption. And that's also why when the product first was developed, we got it immediately out to Dr. John and Dr. Brett Brimhall for testing, uh, knowing that the potency would be very high and that you'd have to adjust it based on um, the absorption of the pre-digestion versus your formulas in the past. So let me ask you a question. Normally of the other just regular products that you were making, how long of a process, how many days or hours did it take to break down a normal constituent? Yeah, all of the formulas uh, with all the different herbs and different nutrients we had would, would range uh, maximum seven to ten days, you know, maybe a teeny bit more once in a while in a very special situation like with the formula for the athletes and that with the muscle. But so that's the most it ever took. And with this, uh, it kept going on and on. And I think it reported back to Dr. John, it was three to four weeks, um, even, <laughs> even a little more till we got it down to where it was completely pre-digested, which, you know, I kept asking the question to Dr. John, you know, I, boy, how much of this was working before? And he said, you know, we're getting phenomenal results with the glandulars. And uh, for us to take that long to break them down and pre-digest them uh, just tells us that the results you're going to get are phenomenal because it's going to take no time for the body to break them down now. And when we were talking before, this is four times as long than any other nutrient we've dealt with as far as being able to get it pre-digested. So I really think the results are going to be great. Well, no wonder we're getting such good results with your products, though, because even in a pure digestive enzyme medium, it was taking you up to a week to digest the other nutrients to get them to put in your formulations, a whole week. And, and so that's already done. We've saved down a week's digestion. People don't have a week's worth of digestion. No wonder they were having a irritable bowel and and digestion and bloating and everything else and now we have the glandulars and all of the other food products broken down pre-digested ready to go to work this is why we're seeing the miracles and why with the other products that we're going to have going on going to be even more miracles did you and want to ask any more about this and really and that's the difference that's the OHS difference and I think that's why um, I was reading from Dr. Brett uh, Brimhall of the, of the the big difference immediate that people are seeing um, this is before the optoadrenals available, of course, but before when the doctors are first trying these formulas is in the digestive system in the tract and absorption because the problem is is that most of the foods people are consuming today is setting in the gut, causing uh, problems, causing uh, uh, fermentation or I guess gas if you would, um, causing the zonulins to react to create a leaky gut and allowing the nutrients into the bloodstream that shouldn't be in there. And the immediate benefit of pre-digestion is that you get the absorption and you also get the, the functionality of the villi so that then the zonulins will calm down and you don't get the larger macromolecules into the system. So for sure the immediate benefits and the ones that we're seeing reported the most um, when doctors switch over to the whole food line is the digestion, the absorption and that using the digestion formula and uh, then all of a sudden we get the right nutrients absorbed, the body starts healing itself, and then you start using these therapeutic products like the new OptiAdrenal and getting great results. So it's a combination of the culture media and the OptiBlend delivery system pre-digesting the nutrients. And so uh, we can go one more past that one. Fantastic. The, the one thing that I know some of you are on lunch hour and, and just taking time between patients here, and I, I made this a little bit longer than Doug wanted to because we're going to record it, and that way if you can't stay, you have to run back to a patient. We will make sure this is sent out to you in the next few days. I'll also include it in next week's puzzle piece. So these kinds of tests are what you can use to measure very quickly adrenals. 
the Raglan test is when somebody's laying down and then you have them stand up quick, the blood pressure should raise 10 millimeters of mercury on the systolic, the high reading. If it doesn't raise at all or not clear to 8 to 10 or even drops, then that's postural hypertension. That shows you weak adrenals. Of course, there's blood work that's indicated. There's urine studies that do that. And then Doug's going to talk a little bit, too, about coming up. New testing he's making available where you can check the outcome. But muscle testing and the adrenal stretch flex, I mean, if you're used to muscle testing, you know the gracilis, the sartorius muscles, if they test weak, that can be adrenal exhaustion. But if you take any strong muscle, let's just say a pectoralis major cubicular, pectoralis major sternal, latissimus dorsi, very easy to test. You test them in the muscle strong. If you just stretch the joint capsule, like if you're testing the arm, you just take hold of the wrist and just stretch it out a little bit. If that goes weak, that's a sign of adrenal stretch. And you will find that on 90% of your patients. And you just open up one of these capsules and dump a little bit of powder in the mouth or even have a, put the capsule in their hand or mouth, you're going to find that goes away instantly. Uh, Doug, you want to talk about the urinalysis coming up? Well, it's just another test that's going to be really beneficial for you. I know health professionals usually use the Ragulance test or the muscle testing or test for cortisol if you do the blood work and so on. But we've uh, developed and having a lab make for us a very simple little urinalysis strip that you'll be able to just have your patient do a, a quick little urinalysis sample, dip it in it like a chem strip, and that will give you reading, a colorometric reading for adrenal stress. So it'll be really exciting for the patient to actually see the color, to know what they're trying to do, um, go on the optoadrenal and be, uh, the protocols you put them on, and then retest there in your office. So it's actually kind of an exciting concept, and uh, we'll be letting you know as soon as that's available. It'll be coming out with some other uh, testing uh, pro protocols for your analysis. Very good. On the new products that I'm developing with Doug, we wanted to make it pretty simple for the doctors to do. It's just going to be a straight 100% markup. Your wholesale price is only 15, your retail for 30. So it's going to be a little bit different than some of the other things that have been out there. I think that's going to be easy for you to keep track of. And uh, you're going to, I know you're going to be going through dozens of this stuff. If you test it, you're going to be adding it to your your practice and you're just going to outdo any product that's in the market. There's just no way anybody can come close to touching us, particularly for just the time I've had to test it. I am I am thrilled. So tell us a little bit about these other tests. Doug. We're almost to get finished here and send you back to your patients, but uh, let's highlight a few things here. Sure. The, the, a lot of people are asking about the next formula from uh, Dr. Brimhall formulations with the optonutrients and the collaboration with us. Uh, the optothyroid formula, we're just finished. Dr. John uh, met with me the other day with the final details he wanted and some changes. And uh, that product now is being blended and uh, the process of the glandular is being pre-digested. So we're, we're, we'll be coming out with that real soon and keep you informed. Um, then we'll also keep you informed of the new in-house colorimetric urinalysis system uh, it'll be testing for a lot of autoimmune risks, heavy metals, adrenal, free radical, malandialdehyde test, uh, calcium, pH, and then a real exciting nitric oxide test. All of these are going to be either saliva or urinalysis. It can be done in your office, and uh, we'll keep you informed as that's uh, being finished developed. Uh, the testing's done. We're just waiting for clearance so that you can do them in your office without any CLIA uh, regulations. So really excited. Lots of things coming down the pipe here. It, it, another thing, just to let you know, I, we, we feel like the adrenal was first, the thyroid was second. The Dr. Red's pushing really hard for heart because we find a lot of heart conditions. He practices in Arizona there, an, an aging population. But the heart products I've made before have, have created miracles. But we're going to be able to go way beyond that. So I think we're going to push for heart next. We'll probably have an optoimmune, an optomito. The mitochondria are, are the number one thing to look at. There's problems if you have any kind of degenerative disease. So we're just you know, weeks to months ahead of just kicking these out one after another and making sure that they do what they're supposed to. In summary here, I just some of my good friends have been following my work for, for years and some many, many years have been, been shooting me uh, testimonials. I haven't asked for them. They're just saying, gosh, I recently began to test the nutrient doses of OHS and other products. He came to homecoming. He started testing some from then. He said, I require dosages of virtually every supplement goes down from a third to a sixth. Uh, uh, just 33% to 66% of what it was before. So sometimes even more than that. So you, you're not going to have to use as much nutrition. You're going to get better results. But the, the patients, the compliance, the affordability, they're going to be able to stay on it. 
uh, Doug has set up an auto ship where your patients, even if they leave you, you can continue to get uh, compensated for that. I mean, one of our doctors the other day, uh, Doug has a special program. If a doctor is in an area and they have a patient taking the products and they can go online and order it directly where you don't even have to stock them when they're not coming into you anymore and you get a percentage kicked back to you at all times. And this one doctor um, patient told another patient about it. He went online and found Opto, the OptiHealth systems and uh, Doug sent a check to, to him for this person. So this is a very good uh, method that he's created. Nobody else has out there. But our goal is to help you build residual income, to, uh, particularly with this and the Thrive system of teaching the patients every week what to be taking. And if you're pleased, there's two different puzzle pieces type coming out right now. One is coming out of the regular puzzle piece I do every week. comes out Tuesday. I write it on Monday. And then Doug sends one out on the weekend. And he has a brief video that's explaining things. And um, so <clears throat> watch both of those. We've made them quick. We've made them fast. And if you're not watching them, you're really getting behind because with the new things we have going on with the redox signaling molecules, with the CIA, with everything going on with OHS, the world has changed. You will not have to use as much nutrition to shoot for the miracles that you want to get. Here's another uh, thing that, uh, that uh, David said. In addition, we've been getting more unsolicited testimonies than ever from their patients from the supplements. It's such a home run for everyone involved from clinical response, ease of ordering, quality of available literature, and customer service standpoints. Thank you so much for your consistent research and development of new companies, products, and services. We are poised to begin the Thrive system very shortly. We're going to do a webinar on that. You need to know about that. Uh, Dr. Brett uh, believes he's going to be able to triple his nutrition sales this year under Thrive. He also has already doubled his retention or in that area of doubling his retention because of the constant education of patients. Something you really need to know about. I am replacing other supplements I have used for years from other companies with OHS. So that's what Dave said. Here's what Dr. Wordy said from Texas. It is unsolicited and I'm he mentions names in there I probably wouldn't but he said we've been giving our patients OHS supplements for the past five weeks. He sent this to me right after homecoming. He says we've been having amazing results. Better results than any with any other company we've ever used, including NutriWest and Zymogen, etc. I can't keep the stuff in stock. I sold four times more nutrition last month than my monthly average before, once he switched over to these. Because of the instant results you get, the ease of taking, and the inexpensiveness of being able to get patients on them and keep them on them. He said, very excited about the pre-digested adrenal support. I'm very happy with LHS, and my patients love it. <clears throat> Dr. Brett, I said, okay, what do you want to tell us? He said, well, in testing OH products against any other nutrition, the pre-digested formulas of OHS went almost every time. You know, I show you how you, you check this adrenal product versus that adrenal product, etc. And OHS, about 90 plus percent of the time, tests the strongest. The new OptiAdrenal has tested number one every time he's tested it against any other adrenal product. But we've only had it a week and a half. We're also finding the OHS pre-digested formulas have been a huge win for GI problems. Treatment for constipation does not require separate formulas anymore. The pre-digesting seems to help, absor help absorption, utilization, and provides normalized bowel movements. So that was, that was a pretty good deal, and we'll, we'll be talking more about other things 